Each of you should give what you have decided in your heart to give, not reluctantly or under compulsion, for God loves a cheerful giver. 2 Corinthians 9, 7. Did you know that studies have shown that giving is a health benefit when it comes to your heart? Giving with gratitude can lower blood pressure, increase HDL while lowering LDL levels of cholesterols, and can help to reduce risk of heart attack. This shouldn't surprise us. God created us holistically, heart, body, mind, and spirit. All are interconnected and work together, or sometimes don't. Notice that connection here in this scripture. Deciding happens in the mind, but it's not to be absent from the heart. Once the heart and mind are together, it involves the body to execute the decision. And of course, here's where we need help in our spirit. And it is the Holy Spirit's work of renewal, working throughout each part of our lives as we are restored to being the beloved creatures God has designed and made us to be. One of those natural and healthy traits is to give from what we receive. This truth is echoed throughout Scripture, but perhaps most clearly in this verse in Romans chapter 12. We have different gifts according to the grace given to each of us. If your gift is prophesying, then prophesy in accordance with your faith. If it is serving, then serve. If it is teaching, then teach. If it is to encourage, then give encouragement. If it is giving, then give generously. If it is to lead, do it diligently. If it is to show mercy, do it cheerfully. It's no wonder then that a giving heart is a healthy heart. When we give out of what we have received, we are free to be living the life which the Lord created in us. Cheerful giving is a sign of healthy hearts. A cheerful heart is good medicine, but a crushed spirit dries up the bones. Proverbs emphasizes such heart health. A cheerful heart is good medicine, but a crushed spirit dries up the bones. Giving is the way of discipleship, following Jesus, being changed by Jesus, and being committed to the mission of Jesus. Let us pray. Holy Spirit, we do pray that you would renew our thoughts, that you would work with inside of our heart, that you would move us into action to follow the ways that you lead, that you would also encourage us as we continue to follow our Savior Jesus. Remind us of the things he taught us and lead us in the way of everlasting life. We pray this in the strong and in the mighty name of our Savior Jesus. Amen.